Determining body mass index or BMI is an inexpensive, reliable way to identify malnutrition in clients. In 2014, FANSA and Boston Children's Hospital created the BMI wheel for use in developing countries to make calculating BMI and BMI for age quicker and easier for health workers so they can quickly determine their client's nutritional status. Without the BMI wheel, health workers have to use several charts to plot each client's weight and height in order to calculate BMI or BMI for age. Then they have to reference yet another chart to determine nutritional status. Makaya Nadenje, chief nurse at Binza Health Center in Kinshasa, explains how BMI is typically calculated. Here you can see the table takes a lot of time because you, when you have the height and the weight of the person, you must now align the weight and the height. So you don't really have the time to align this. And it's not really precise. As we align, we can see that the person has 27 but we don't know if that 27 is exact because there are no decimals. On the disk, there are decimals, which is very precise. Anyway, after aligning, you need to leave the diagram to go again to another tool to find where to classify your clients, and that really takes time. Given the time constraints these health workers experience, any tool that reduces the number of steps is a welcome change. The BMI will combine several steps into one handy, easy to use tool. The tool is very practical and very precise because it helps us to see the exact body mass index of the person right away. It doesn't take too much time when we have a lot of clients and we are running behind schedule and you only have a maximum of five minutes for each person, it's really practical. Here's how the wheel works. As you can see, there are simple instructions on the tool. After a client's weight and height is taken, align the client's measurements on the wheel. This displays the BMI. If the client is 19 years or older, their nutritional status based on their BMI is provided in the table below the instructions. If the client is 5 to 18 years of age, after noting the client's BMI, turn the wheel over to calculate BMI for age. Point the arrow to the number closest to the child's age. The table that is then displayed shows the nutritional status of the child based on their gender and BMI. The BMI wheel eliminates the need to manually calculate BMI using reference tables. It also indicates when to calculate BMI or BMI for age, and it shows nutritional status right there in one place. The wheel also shows when it should not be used. The wheel cannot be used for children under five years of age or for clients who are pregnant or up to six months postpartum. The purpose of the wheel was to simplify the task of determining BMI and nutritional status so that it saves time for the health worker and provides a more accurate measurement. Dr. Clemens Motongo, a care and support specialist with the Provic Plus project, has been fighting the battle against HIV in the Democratic Republic of Congo for several years and agrees that the wheel is a time-saving tool. As a medical professional involved in HIV care services, the BMI wheel allows me to take a quick look at the nutritional aspects of my patients and to be able to offer them nutrition, care, and support in addition to other HIV services because the disc really allows me to spend less time calculating. Fanta worked with Boston Children's Hospital to develop the wheel and did a test in the field to ensure that it was user-friendly for health workers. During the field test, we found that the wheel saved one and a half minute of calculation time for each person measured. Since then, we have started using the BMR wheel in several countries and have seen a very positive response, both from clinician, counselor, and the client themselves. More information about the BMI wheel is available at fanciaproject.org slash BMI wheel. <laughs>